Hello everyone and welcome to the Automotive Diagnosis YouTube channel. Today I will explain how to test and fix the P0017 crankshaft camshaft position correlation fault code. Please stay with us until the end of the video and don't forget to visit our channel for more videos. PCM monitors the engine timing misalignment while engine is fully warmed up and there is no fault code. This would happen by checking the engine timing through the crankshaft position and camshaft position sensors. P0017 will be set if PCM detects any timing misalignment on bank 1 exhaust side. Possible causes for this fault code are as follows. Engine oil. Bank 1 exhaust solenoid valve. Bank 1 exhaust camshaft position sensor. Crankshaft position sensor. Bank 1 exhaust VDT. And engine timing. Let's start by talking about the engine oil. As variable valve timing works with the engine oil, it's very important to change the engine oil on time. If you have this fault code, and engine oil hasn't been replaced for a long time, change the engine oil first is shown here. After changing the engine oil, you might need to remove and clean the VVT solenoid valve too, as the oil sludge can get accumulated around the solenoid, causing the oil supply problem to the VVT. Testing procedure for the Bank 1 exhaust VDT solenoid valve. As you see here, VDT solenoid provides the engine oil to the VDT in order to advance or retard the timing. Some engines have a separate VDT oil filter, but on many others, filter is installed on the solenoid. Locate the external filter, remove and clean it thoroughly. Locate the VVT solenoid for further testing. If you have a dual VVT engine, there are camshaft position sensor, VVT and VVT solenoid on each camshaft. So, locate the exhaust VVT solenoid for this fault code. To start testing the OCV, it is very important to review OCV wiring diagram. As soon as you turn on the ignition switch, power supply will be provided to OCV via engine main relay, so you must have battery voltage on that pin when ignition is on or when engine is running. Also, OCV is controlled by PCM using the other wire, so the control line must be checked too. For testing the OCV power supply voltage, turn the ignition on when bank 1 intake OCV connector is disconnected. Then check the supply voltage using a multimeter on the relevant pin. In this test, 
you must measure the battery voltage on the multimeter. Locate the exhaust OCD bank 1 and perform the power supply test procedure as shown here. If you have the correct voltage, go to the next step. Remove the OCV connector, then start the engine. Apply battery positive and negative to OCV when engine is running, if solenoid is functioning, engine must hesitate or stalls. So, if after activating the solenoid in test, you do not see any changes in engine operation, it means that OCV might be faulty, so, you must remove the OCV to do more test. You can also test the VDT operation by the scan tool. Use the actuator test in the scan tool and activate the bank 1 intake OCV. If engine hesitates, it means solenoid is functioning. Otherwise, remove the OCV to do more test. Remove the bank 1 exhaust OCV, clean it carefully and thoroughly, and check the solenoid visually. For testing the solenoid off the engine, you can perform the actuation test. So provide the battery positive and negative on the OCV, and test it as shown here. Make sure you hear the clicking sound during the actuation test. Next step is to measure the OCV internal resistance using a multimeter. Measure the resistance as shown in the video and compare it with the specification. If OCV fails in any of these two tests, you must replace it with a brand new one, otherwise, if OCV is good and you still have the fault, you should go to the next step. Bank 1 Exhaust Camshaft Position Sensor Testing Procedure Locate the camshaft position sensor which is installed at the end of the bank 1 exhaust camshaft. This sensor reads the camshaft position and send the signal to the PCM. Most of the time this sensor is the Hall effect type, which has three pins. One pin is the power supply coming from the engine control relay, so you must have the battery voltage on that pin when ignition is on. The other checkpoint is the sensor signal, which must be around 5 volt and the last one is the ground. Check the wiring and remove the sensor to check it visually. If CMP sensor is OK, go to the next step to test the crankshaft position sensor. Crankshaft position sensor testing procedure. Crankshaft position sensor detects the crankshaft position and sends the signal to the PCM. These days, there are two types of these sensor, inductive type and Hall IC type. The inductive type consists of a permanent magnet and a winding coil. The magnet flux field at the sensor responds as the teeth on the sensing teeth rotates. The sensor generates the AC voltage by rotation of the sensing teeth. For testing the sensor, you can test the internal resistance by a multimeter and check it with the specification in the workshop manual. Here we show you the internal resistance of two different crankshaft position sensors. Replace the sensor if the resistance is different from the workshop manual.
If you have the Hall IC type, the procedure for testing the sensor is similar to the camshaft position sensor, check the power supply, signal and the ground. If both sensors are okay, go to the next step to test the Bank 1 exhaust VVT. Testing procedure to check the Bank 1 exhaust VVT. Before removing the VVT, you can check the engine timing by an oscilloscope. So, check the crankshaft and camshaft position sensor waveform and compare that with the specification on the workshop manual. For example, this waveform shows a typical crankshaft and camshaft sensor's waveform at idle. If the 17th signal of the crankshaft sensor after missing tooth is aligned with the high signal of the camshaft sensor at idle, PCM recognizes that synchronization between CKP and CMP is completed. Otherwise, it will set P0017 fault code for the timing correlation. Remember that the exhaust VDT is locked at the maximum advanced when engine is off. So as soon as engine is started and warmed up, it should rotate toward the retard to adjust the timing otherwise this fault code will be set. For testing the exhaust VDT, remove the exhaust camshaft and locate the advance and retard oil passages on camshaft. Test the exhaust VDT by providing the compressed air into the relevant oil galleries. For testing the exhaust VDT, when you provide the air into the retard oil gallery, VDT should rotate, as exhaust VDT is locked at maximum advance. Before providing the compressed air into the retard oil gallery, make sure that the VDT is locked and does not rotate. If VDT fails this test, it must be replaced. Last step is to check the engine timing. If engine timing is not correct or timing chain is extended, you may have this fault code. So as you have already removed the camshaft, check the timing chain and adjust the engine timing. Thank you for watching the video. Please do not forget to subscribe and share if you enjoyed the information provided. Please visit the channel page for many more videos like this.